it's Anna from MC's Garden. And we've not done much in the garden for the fall winter, but we've got a big storm coming and I need to get out here and get some collard greens in. Y'all come along. We didn't do much as far as the garden uh, for the fall and the winter. Um, the weather has just been crazy. For Southeast Mississippi, this is December 16th, 77 degrees today. But we also have some powerful storms and tornado warnings coming through. So I'm going to take care of some of these beautiful collards and get some harvested in. Um, we've got some kale that needs needs a little attention. and Back there are a few mustard greens. It's not quite ready. Got some turnips coming up different things and uh, I did plant some garlic these are just a few of the elephant garlic that I've gotten from Hoss Tools and some of my carrots they're doing pretty good and then you can see the peas on the trellis they are vining up as they said they would when I purchased uh, the trellising net that was something they said that uh, the peas would find their way and they would grow. Good morning, Cash. Good garden cat. He has to be where mom is. So they're looking nice. And we're going to go around front and look at the cabbages and lettuce. This is the front food bed. Not the flower bed, but the food bed. Daikon radishes are getting big. The purple and the pinks are getting big. And it's time to pick some of the Chinese breakfast radishes or French breakfast radishes. The lettuce is looking good. I've got a couple cabbages doing okay over there. This year has not been my year for cabbage. Not like last year. Got a few new plants coming up. Got my plastic over here. We're supposed to get a night of 27 degree weather this week. So 77 today and 27 later in the week. Mississippi. Mm -mm. So the two patient crew is going to have a colorful breakfast this morning. I fixed some radishes, some kale, different kinds of different colors of radishes and uh, gonna make them some eggs and see how they do throw in some onions broccoli's doing real well too in these potted containers I'm kind of surprised I've never grown uh, broccoli in a container before so pleasant surprise and as you can see over here, the tomatoes are doing great. And I just take them inside when it gets super cold out. But if it's 30, 38 or above, I leave them out here. And you can see they've got blossoms. Lots of them. And I have my little one here. But I'm tickled about that. And since there's not any real pollinators out, I've just been coming out and shaking the blossoms a little bit. Tapping them with my fingertip. I'd say that's a pretty good little mess of collards. Big old soup full of them. Awesome. Pretty good little harvest for the middle of December on a Monday morning. So I've got a little bit of work to do, clean all this up and cook breakfast for the two patient crew. Time to make some coffee. And it's the breakfast of 
the two patient crew, the two champions, a 79 and an 80 year old. They're gonna have some sauteed onion and radish, radish greens, and some kale, and some yard eggs from the neighbor. Thank y'all so much for watching my channel and supporting us as we learn about gardening of all types. Have a great day.